Hello, I hope you are fine and here is another T-Display S3 video but this time for the first time I have version with touch display. So here is my calculator example and let's try to 52 divided by 8 is equal 6.5. Very cool, usually I prefer push buttons but I like this version also and it looks great, it looks like mini phone. The display S3 is uh, sold in different versions we can say, so on their site you can choose version without header pins, this is cheapest version. And this is also my first project for this board. Here I have a version with header pins. Very nice. Here is version in this plastic shell. You can buy also only this shell if you already own this board. This is my last project. These are my, we can say, my favorite projects. But the uh, hero of this video is this version with touch screen. Of course, this version is most expensive of all. It is around I don't know, $20. In this video I will help you to use this and I will share my examples with you. This basic and minimalistic example which will help you to get started. This example and of course this calculator example. 8 plus 5 is equal and I will all, all also share what I don't like dear Lily go you know I love your boards <laughs> but if you want to sell more of these you will need to give us more examples installation process for this board is the same as for the other versions. You can find my video tutorial in the description. In the library folder we can find this example and when I open it it was like what is this? This is so confusing. Can this example be simpler? I don't need swipe and support for 1000 fingers on a display this size. So I played with this code and I found that we don't need all of this. So I made this example. I hope this example will be easier to understand. And here is code of my minimal example. So here we have libraries and header files constructor for touch display and variables variable use for the bouncing and to switch to bool variables switch one and switch two we have three functions like always there is setup function loop function which will just wait when uh, touch display is pressed and it will call draw function and it will pass two arguments to draw function it will pass uh, coordinates of touch <laughs> finger I'm sorry and here is draw function so if 
upper part of screen is touched, switch 1 will change each state. If uh, bottom pa part is touched, then uh, switch 2 will change state. And we will draw switch 1 and switch 2 using these functions and of course we will push sprite on our screen very simple and I hope this will help you get started uh, I saw many comments online that people have problems with this board so I hope this will help you of course I will share my other examples so feel free to play with that and that's it for this week tell me what you think check links in description in description you can always find more information and useful links and uh, if this video was helpful you can support my work you can buy me a coffee also you can support my work by commenting liking and watching my videos thank you i will see you soon goodbye